What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. I'm your host Joe and today we're gonna go a little diving, change it up a bit. Um, I need some fish for my son's seventh birthday, so happy birthday Jaden. Um, so hopefully me and Cap, uh, Danny Laurel can uh, get some fish from Kaneohe Bay and uh, wish us luck and hopefully we get some kole, some uhu, um, maybe some taco or whatever else God provides. So, all right guys, come come join us. Uh, let's go holo holo. Here we go, I'm just gonna try to go dive shallow for some kole. And kole is actually a pretty good party fish because one, you know, it's easier to shoot. They're actually um, not dumb, but they're very curious. So they'll, even if you miss, they'll circle back and look at you, as you can see in this. And ooh, I, that was a nice size chumpy fish that just snuck on in. And it was about four feet. So I was actually, I didn't know if I could hit it with my three prong, but lucky enough, I was able to land it. It actually bent my spear tips. It was so big trying to kill that thing. See, just line up the shot, wait for a good shot, don't take a gut shot if you can. Just line up, just wait and they'll they'll come right back. Sometimes you have to wait longer than you want though, but most often they'll come back and look at you. Even if they're high, they'll, they'll pop his head back up. Uh, well, maybe, maybe not. Well, usually at least they travel in a, in a school, so can find another one to shoot. Oh no, popped his head back out. Nice. Right here we uh, have a Roy, which is a grouper, but this is an invasive species, so it's good to clear them off the reef, even if you're not going to eat it, but because um, they just kind of eat all the other fish. Right now, I'm actually trying to sneak up on a uhu I saw way in the distance, and I kind of had a shot, but trying to film it, I think I spooked it a couple times, so that's why I didn't really get really good uh, footage, because I had to really try to duck down behind these rocks and hide just to get a closer shot so right now i'm just waiting waiting i don't want to wound it i want, I want to make sure i land the shot because i had a bigger one in the background but i knew i didn't have a good shot on it so here we go line it up and i just kick a little forward to line up the shot and got a nice shot on it Okay, for this next part, I'm just gonna show you uh, the method. There's a million ways to skin a cat, same thing with the fish, but to me, the easiest way to clean reef fish or to scale them and clean them, I built this little device and I'd like to share that with you guys or share this with the world. You guys can just take it for what it is, and but it works for me and then this way you don't get poked by all the sharp uh, spikes or anything and it's way faster, way easier to clean it. So all right, check this out. All right, guys, this is how um, I clean kole and other small reef fish like Manini, Ahole Ahole, Avilvil. Um, I built myself a little um, fish cleaning uh, board. So what it is, is I actually took an old cutting board that was like about this size, um, cut out a strip, cut out the triangles, one, two, three. As you can see, the, um, the fish would stay right in here. And with this top piece, which I don't know if you can see, but it's a little beveled. You're gonna make that beveled face down 
and it'll be like that. So what you do is all you have to do is uh, take the fish, shove it into here, and what it, it'll hold your fish instead of you trying to hold the fish and it's poking your fingers. It's, it's a real comfortable, easy way to do it. So I can stick two at a time. Take the um, take a regular garden hose with a um, pressure nozzle, and you spray it, and it'll just take off the scales. You don't even need to scale it. You just hold on the tails, spray, scales fly right off. Take it, flip it over, shove it back in, spray it again, and you're done. It's the fastest, easiest way to scale fish with small scales, especially those real bulky ones. You don't want to get like a lot of veil veil, call it. All these other ones have real small uh, spikes. I noticed this is the easiest, fastest way to do it. So again, you cut a cutting board to three triangles, put those in there, little, leave a hole so that it, the water can drain out. Put this on top, and then I'm gonna put the screws back in. The screws just go one, two, and three. Holds it together. Hopes this helped everybody. All right, peace out. Okay, well, I don't know if I can do this one hand, but I'll just show you what I mean when you stick the heads in. You just grab it, stick them in, just like that. See how the leakage is going nice, nice and easy. And then you just keep the holes, watch the scales come right off. So you normally you'd hold the tail, but right now I'm trying to film it one hand, so it's kind of hard. But just like that, scales gone, clean, easy, easy. After that, you just cut the head off. Or just gut it if you want. Easier to cut the head and guts out one crack. But there you go. Easiest way to scale coli or any reef fish. All right. guys again for joining us on another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. Special thanks goes out to Cap Danny Laurel for going diving with me. And always remember to please like, subscribe, and share. And remember to fish safe and fish with aloha. Alright gang, see you on the next one.